Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. It's been a while since I did one of these, but we're going to be jumping in and showcasing the new Tainted Mammon. Got released just a little bit ago. Uh, Mammon is a character that was added by the Retribution mod. And yeah, it got updated and added quite a lot of interesting new stuff. But yeah, most importantly, the Tainted version of Mammon. And I don't really know how exactly this guy works, but I'm intrigued. It says collect your curses and sell your labor. And I saw in the patch notes that it said 45 cursed trinkets have been added. So I'm sure that has something to do with collect curses, sell your labor. I'm interested. The, the vanilla version of Mammon is all about generating money to give to your beggars that you um, deal damage to yourself to generate. Uh, and getting stats from them, getting items from them. He doesn't actually have items in item rooms, so I'm assuming this guy will be the same. <clears throat> I'm unsure exactly. Sell your labor sounds interesting. I'm guessing that means that shops are going to be reasonably heavily involved. Either that or we're going to have a, an active item. Oh no, we don't, we don't have any spirit with any items with this guy. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm very much assuming that we're going to be... Um, we're going to be using the shop to do stuff about selling. Um... But I don't know, it might, be, it might be like at the end of the boss room or something, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I, I doubt I'll be getting items from item rooms just because of the way normal mammon works. But we'll, we'll find out any moment, I'm sure, uh, when we get to our item room. We'll see exactly what this guy's going on. But yeah, um, normal mammon, I, I do have a few issues with in terms of the way that he can work and uh, the RNG factors of playing as uh, that character, so we'll see how this how this character fares and if it's any similarities, because um, I'll be honest, it'd be nice if it was just sort of something quite new and different to normal Mammon. Um, I realise, obviously, for my regular series, I don't have a thumbnail set for this guy yet, but I'll try and get one sorted so we can play this guy in the regular series, especially if we like him quite a lot. Um, but yeah, we got our item room here, so let's check this out. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I was right. We've got uh, the Cursed Trinket, we have Antidepressants, that's a Tears Down, with a value of 7 coins. So, oh, so that's Auto Gulped, okay. That's Auto Gulped, but we'll check the shop once we've uh, once we've cleared our boss, I think, um, so we can get a bit more money. It said that we could sell this for 7 coins, out of, well, it didn't say sell, but it said value of 7 coins. So yeah, I, I, I kind of think it'll be maybe at the end of the floor. Oh, we just got another... Uh, one of these cursed trinkets from killing an enemy. Interesting. Uh, boosts the power um, and value of other cursed trinkets. Value zero. Okay, so it's doubled the downside of my other cursed trinket, which is a little bit awful for our damage uh, output. Filigree feather. That actually is very, very nice. We'll take that. Um, yeah. Interesting. Um, so knowing that enemies can um, drop cursed trinkets, we want to be sort of... For one, making sure that they're somewhere where we can actually get the trinket when we kill them, which is on this little bit of land here. Sadly, nothing there for us. Um, and yeah, we're going to be in double value right now. Um, and double the amount of downsides from... I wonder if a boss always drops one. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm okay. I, I thought I was kind of stuck there then. Yeah. No. Damn it. I only had one bomb. And I goddamn wasted it. Awful. Awful. But yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if if, if uh, this value of the trinkets is something that shows up after the boss or if it's something in the shop. Obviously, we'll find out in a moment. I want to see my boss first, though, and get my boss item. Um, see what we've got going on with that. I can't remember. I think normal Mammon does get boss items, so I'm sure this guy will as well. Um, this is going to be a rather long fight, though, because at the minute we've not been able to hit the little baby. This guy doesn't start with a lot of HP though. That's certainly something to, to note. We've only got um, one black heart and two red hearts. There you go, he's taken care of. <clears throat> okay, yeah, this is gonna be a rather long fight with this guy. Is there a position in which I can... To be fair, actually. This might, this might work out. It's a little bit slow way of doing it, but it's a very safe way of doing it. That's to be fair, it's too slow. <laughs> I should just be hitting all my shots, really, shouldn't I? All I have to do is stay away from him when he gets close. It's not that hard to do. And then again, if he hits me as well, I can always damage him with a black heart, so that'll speed things up. Right. Almost done on this guy. This guy does have a different name as well, doesn't he? But I never remember it. 
Oh, okay. So we did get one of these. Uh, we got a constant small movement drift is applied until sold. Oh, that's very, that's not a small movement drift. That's crazy. Also, yeah, our, our thing costs money. So I'm going to guess we have to go back to our shop here. This movement drift is awful. Okay, so... Now, what's my prediction here? So my prediction is that I can sell these trinkets. I'm gonna, gonna imagine I can only sell like one at a time or one per floor. Um, ooh, these are tainted keeper shops or, or at least something similar. We've also got these machines. Whoa, I just realized what the hell's going with this guy. So this guy I'm guessing is what we sell to. Indeed we do. Oh, he, he, he just took all of them. Okay, and we got 29 coins now. Um. Make shops free. Entering a shop triggers a random bad event. That's well, one penny off of that. Um, see if we can find a place to get a single penny. Because honestly, that could make this character potentially kind of busted. Um, and then we could just use our money for boss items, I guess. There we go. It was that was a bit of a risk, but. A guaranteed way to get one penny. I realise it puts our health in a rather unstable position now. And the random bad event could be terrible. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But I wanted to play it a little bit unsafe and roll with this. So I don't think this will make this shop free. No, it won't. I didn't think it would. Uh, but that could be really interesting. I'm going to try and get half a heart, really. We got. But I did all that for nothing because we got a penny from there. Hey, we got half a heart. That's basically all I was hoping for, so I can't be... One shot by a champion. And let's get going down to the next floor. So, so far, as I understand this guy, this is kind of interesting. Because the more cases you pick up... Oh, we forgot about that. The more cases you pick up, the harder it's going to make each floor. But the more rewards you reap. So it's kind of like a toss-up of do you go to the shop early and get less money for it? Or do you go to the shop at the end of the floor and get as much benefit as you possibly can? I'm kind of intrigued by the way that that's going to like sort of pan out. I like it. I like it. I like characters like this that have that risk reward to them. Also, we have that fire rate back now, which is really nice. I'm curious to see how sort of bad these curse trinkets can get, because I imagine there's some really bad ones out there. Um, yeah, we're not going to take that. We're going to stick with filigree feather, I think. We're definitely going to be going angel deal if we get the opportunity. going to be kind of annoying, especially the fact that them guys went headless. Makes things more tricky. Oh, bugger. Okay, things are not going great. Removes one heart container or two soul hearts. Grants back an empty heart container. Oop, that got pushed into me then. Didn't even mean to take that. That got pushed into me. Now, I'm imagining if I don't take a, a curse, it'll get, um... It, like, the, the trinket will disappear when I re-enter the room, because otherwise you could just save them all to the end. I should really test that at some point. Um, I don't want to test it yet. But yeah, I am very, very near death right now. I'm a little little bit scared, a little bit wary. But if we do die, this is a character showcase. I'll play it a little bit. I'll like, start a new run and play a bit more, because it's more about showcasing the character and understanding how they work rather than getting a full run in or getting a win or whatever like it is with our regular series. It's more just about understanding and showcasing how the character works and some of the intriguing things about it and I think we've already surmised the character as a whole it's just now sort of seeing that in action seeing how that works I can't believe that guy farted this into me though if I die because of that it's gonna be kind of funny good just like half a heart please game in fact let's go back to the room that's double key locked because that can contain chests that could contain HP, or it can contain enemies. Sometimes it can be a bit rude, this room, so we'll just have to see. Unfortunately, yeah, this is not not really what I was hoping for. The, uh, the, the shop things can be pretty good, and they might be pretty good later on. I suppose as well, this guy's this character is quite luck-based, because it depends how many monsters drop um, the bad trinkets, the cursed trinkets on kill. Although, it might be like a set thing. It might be like you're guaranteed to get a certain amount per floor. Or it might be completely random. I'm guessing it's random, I'll be honest. Uh, but that could mean that some rooms with a lot of enemies could really, really yield very high rewards. And I'd be certainly interested in that. Um, of course, it does make things more difficult as well. Like, I'll be honest. Don't know what I was meant to do there with half a heart. Let's let's jump back into another run, though. Uh, I think I, I maybe took a bit too much of a risk going for that extra penny. Especially considering in the end I didn't even have to. Because I got it from the poops, fires and stuff. But hey-ho, there it is. So... 
First floor, I think, is pretty important as this character. First floor is, is going to be where you can get some really good items from your first shop. I mean, this character seems like a sort of Tainted Keeper style dude where you probably want to do early restarts. When entering a new room, lose three coins. For each coin lost, a Curse Spinning Penny is spawned in a random position. I'll probably just take that. That seems scary, but I'll take it. Um, all tier effects are removed. Yeah. So we've, we've got 15 coins already. Um, and I'm guessing we're going to lose three coins when this room spawns in. We have to basically, we have to fight to get our coins back. That's kind of what the, the downside of that is. We're going to lose coins per room, but we've got to fight to get them back. And we're just the one. More tears down. We're getting that one again. The tears down one seems reasonably common. Like I said, I'm almost sure they'll just disappear uh, if you leave the room without picking them up. So I'm going to pick them up straight away. I just, like I said, I should test that, but I'm almost certain that has, that's, that's how it's work, how it works. Because otherwise the character's whole gimmick wouldn't really function correctly. Um, Calm down, you guys. Calm down. We've got three already. We probably want to, want to go straight for the shop. But like I said, it's kind of that that whole thing of do you do you leave it longer and try and uh, try and get more value? Because I'm guessing that based on the fact that that beggar disappeared, if you like if you sell your stuff after that point, you can't sell anything more. Um, attempts to steal pickups from you. Ooh, he's kind of cool looking. Look at him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it risky. I'm gonna. Oh no! <laughs> I saw that guy about to steal that. Pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Just a dime in the room, and he's like, "Nah, not yours. You can't have that." It is what it is. It is what it is. Dude, why do they always go headless? At least it's not the ones that shoot. Make things a little bit easier. Don't steal that red heart. I need that for later. Okay, we're going to lose some coins here because we just can't get past in time. But low shot speed. We're getting some good stuff going on. Tell you what. Not a big fan of the way this room's panning out right now. Guy is pretty hard to take out. Yeah, shot speed down. This is what I mean by it's kind of look based on how many enemies drop stuff. Because, like, I mean, look at this. We've got a lot of downsides. Um, fire to disperse. Leave a cursed string. Leaving a cursed trinket behind deals non fatal damage to you. Okay, this is probably enough before we do the boss. Let's go back to the shop now. And we are going to be selling all of this stuff. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, baby. Um, for now, buy that and that. We have the B boy now. We will lose that ability if we uh, if we buy something new. So I'm just gonna stick with that for now. Okay, and we get rid of all of our downsides as well. But yeah, fighting baby actually isn't bad. It's like really not that bad of a um, item. And block shots and stuff, kind of like Dry Baby can. You're going to be kind of annoying, I think. Just got to deal with you. I think I'm going to go and record some Skyrim after this. I'm really feeling it, and I've got my mod loadout set up in a way that I'm pretty happy with. Reasonably happy. There's still some there's somewhat major issues with it, but I'm just going to have to deal with them. Nothing that can't be overcome or ignored. More so ignored than overcome. <laughs> this guy is about done. Oh, I forgot that I'm going to have to buy the um, the boss item as well here. So I might be getting this B item pretty quickly. It depends on how good this is. Yeah, I won't be buying that. I had six broken hearts. Holy shit, okay. Kind of crazy. Anyways, down to the next floor. We probably, pretty much want to beeline to our shop here. I, I don't care about killing, selling our curses early uh, this time around. Because we... Um, We've already got a lot of money. We've already got one curse here as well. Yeah, these bees are just going to spawn. Yeah, oh, God. 
Hit on my black art there. Does this count as spending money? I'm hurt. Bloody well hope not. Bomb there. In fact, nah. I guess I was going to bomb him just because I don't really use those guys that often. But I've only got one bomb right now. I don't think it'd be that good of an idea to just... I won't say waste it, but use it on that. Bit of a risk here, but I'm hoping that I can use a bomb to make this a little bit faster. That was a lot faster, at least on that guy. Farting baby isn't going to be very useful here, but I can hopefully do this without getting hit. No filigree feather this time, so I don't have to go angel deal, but I think I probably still will with my current HP setup. I'll buy my boss item if it's damage. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy it. But the thing is, the B item's good to keep, but... We're going to be buying stuff from the shops anyway, it's because they're tainted keeper shops, or at least shops that have treasure items in them, so I'm, I'm definitely not going to be not buying that sort of stuff. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, I'm going to quickly go and check... Ooh, what... What's this? Force you to fire every coin you earn out as an eye of greed. Oh, we can't, we can't do that. That, that. So let's just check. So yeah, that it does disappear, exactly as I expected. Uh, that's, that's exactly how I thought that would work. But yeah, let's before we buy that, let's go and see what our shop's like. Because getting rid of that all of our coins here for that would actually be not bad. Because that would be like 45 coins used on that, which would be a lot of usage and a lot of potential good stats. But at the same time, if there's some good shop items available for us here and now, I think we'd be better off with the good shop items, depending on of course, what's available. Let's try and not get hit too much. I know we've already got our devil deal now, so it doesn't matter as much, but... Oh, I kind of forgot we had our actual treasure room as well to get one of these. It's kind of funny now that you can get them from killing enemies, but your treasure room only contains one. Okay. I was just setting farting baby in the way. Enemy projectiles gain herming. Oh, God. Yeah, just use farting baby to get in the way. Make that life a bit easier. Um, yep, take that. Check that for hopefully a black heart. Eh, ah, key. Not terrible. I love how we look with this B item. And that it's gonna go away. The projectile herming is, is very, very scary to me, so I'm hoping we don't have too many rooms between us and the shop. Glad that we got that before the boss. Herming on these guys is scary too. Again, try and use farting baby. Actually pretty darn useful. Here's our shop. Item wise, we don't have anything crazy good. I think we do our selling. 85. I actually think... I actually think we just go for the stats, you know? I think 85, well, 15, so it'll get, leave us with um, 65. 60? Yeah, leave us with 60. No. 70. Leave us with 70. Um, Use on that machine. We could get so many HP ups. We could get so many damage ups. The stats will just go crazy, so I'm thinking this will be better for us. This is one of those things where it's a rare time. It's really, really good. Okay, we got some good stuff out of this already. We got some really good stuff. This was very, very worthwhile. Lots of HP. 1.5 damage. And then a few miscellaneous across the board. That was, that was top tier, that was. And we still got 25 coins left as well. Nice. Okay, next floor. Our shop wasn't that great, so I'm not going to buy anything from the shop right now. Um, yeah, and we're just going to keep on going, because, yeah, that was pretty darn good. Uh, oh, wait, do we still have our B item? Is this not the item I thought? I thought that when you purchase something, this B item stopped working. Or maybe it just has lowered effectiveness. I, I honestly don't remember. I thought it stops it working, but clearly not. Um, afflicts you with bleed. Well, interestingly, if I hug this guy... I, yeah, I've got a heart there, so, so once I do bleed, I can just... Go and do that. Now, at the minute, we are in a situation where we could easily lose our angel deal chance because we have no um, red health protection. 
That's not so bad. Yeah, actually adding bleed I don't mind. It's kind of annoying, but we can heal it up reasonably easy. I mean, there you go, we're taking damage now, so... Not take any more damage. And uh, Justice actually spawns as a heart as well here, so there you go. We stopped our bleeding, we had to keep the trinket. I think it was it was it worth sell for three or was it sell for uh Oh god. I can't remember if it said sell for three or if it said sell for uh seven. Or five, I, I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know. But with the amount of money we have right now, I'm probably okay to just sell what I have. Oh, that was a really, really bad hit there. I mean we got hit again by that guy, so I don't feel as bad about it now, but really bad hit by me there. It is what it is. Kind of these enemies somewhat overwhelmed me there. M more so overwhelmed me in terms of my thought process of, what does this enemy do again? These guys are confusing, especially when you're above them, because obviously they don't fire looking that way. They're a little bit confusing to fight. Good hit, sir. Good hit. Soul Heart. Little bit late, but thanks. Okay, so we aren't we aren't generating bees per room anymore. I did think it I did think it got diminished once you bought something. Shot speed lowered. It's annoying, but it's not that detrimental really. We lost a full soul heart there. That was very much my bad. Fight the boss. By far the worst boss to fight. Did, oh, did my farting baby... Did my farting baby just goddamn hit my bomb away? It did it again! Fart, oh, farting baby just farted my own bomb into me. I was praising you earlier, you big shithead. Also, this is like the worst version of this boss that you can fight, so I'm playing it rather cautiously right now. Mainly because of that attack there that just does the inordinate amount of craziness. Okay, we got him. Lost a lot of health there and some money and yeah, just, just my faith in humanity. Okay. Lowered speed and um, lowered damage. Take both of those for now. We must be pretty close to our shop here. I really like this character thus far, though, I've got to say. I'm really, really impressed with this character. It's very, very fun. Lots of risk-reward. Kind of a character that you play pretty slow, slowly and methodically, I, but I really kind of like that. I do not mind at all. Carrot friends. So now we can sell off all of this. We can buy ourselves the Reaper Bum. We can... Mr. Me's actually incredibly good here. Buy that as well. Yeah, because Mr. Me allows us to steal from shops. So... And it allows us to steal from Devil Deal. So now we can go Devil Deal if we, get, if we actually accidentally get a Devil Deal. Check Secret Room here, maybe? Fortunate. Not sure that would just be misplacing it or what, but... Anyways, let's carry on. Um, so, for example, we can go like this. By the way, I have heard Mr. Me has a chance at failing, at stealing things. So I always thought, I was always in the in the camp of thinking that when you did Mr. Me, sometimes if you positioned it slightly wrong on a buyable item, it would just miss. But it's actually not the case. It's actually really easy to hit a buyable item. There is just a chance that it fails because it would just be too strong if you could have a four-room charge active that could steal. Um... Bad hit there. Forum charge active that could steal any item. So they, they just made it a chance based thing instead, which makes more sense to me. We do have this Reaper Bum now. He can give us burn hearts, cards. I think he gives pills as well. Uh, burn fragments. He's, he's, he's honestly a really, really, really good companion. Um, ooh, nice. I mean, money makes the world go around for us right now. So certainly not happy to see a room just absolutely brimming, brimming with money. It also means we can be a little less... Um, Slow in terms of waiting around to try and get our, uh, what's it called going, our curses. We can just go straight to our shop and not worry. Now, I do wonder if that dude disappears if you enter the shop and leave again without doing anything. 
They give us a wisp this time. This case of rebats is actually pretty good because we're getting extra souls. I don't know if bigger enemies give more souls. I think they do. We're getting a decent amount because we're rebirthing enemies and then killing them again and getting an extra soul for it. There's more burn fragments. And burn fragments aren't super useful, but they're, they're, they're decent. Did unfortunately lose my soul heart there. Angel Deal is yet again in jeopardy. Um, we will try and keep it going. Oh, my bad, my bad. Of course, as well, there's a goddamn Tinted Rock here. Of course, of course. Very timely. This is an awkward room. More shot speed down. These are just taken when you see them, unless they're super, super detrimental. I think I want to get rid of them this time before I do my uh, thingy. Before I do my boss room. I think it'd be more lucrative to me. I really don't mind having low shot speed. Kind of used to it. The wisp, the, the wisps are great too. Like absolutely fantastic. These enemies are annoying because they've got the uh, splitting herming shots. It can be rather problematic. Add six broken hearts. Ooh, I didn't think about that. It got rid of my soul heart doing that. That's that's definitely one that you don't want to be taking often. You get so much money for it, but I guess later into the game you get the less of the, like the, there's gonna be more that you don't want to take because they're so detrimental. But early game you've got more room to 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 grow your bank account, essentially, because you're able to take more of them more often because the downsides don't mean as much. But some of them be real bad. A burn fragment. Yeah. Let's take out the fire guy, he's problematic. Familiar that steals stuff, we'll take him on board too. I just love the amount of risk he can pile on, it's 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 good. I love the fact that they made it so that enemies have a random chance to drop these trinkets. It's a, like a nice addition to this. Another damage down is not particularly my cup of tea, but we'll be able to get rid of it pretty soon. Really, it spawned... It hit me as well. It spawned another one straight away and it hit me. God damn it. Okay, yeah, so rebirth bullshit is uh, causing me some problems. Oh, stop rebirthing! It's like a 50% chance, but everything seems to rebirth. At least, like I said, we're getting lots of souls out of it. And also, yeah, where's the shop? Thank you. My guy's stealing everything here. Okay. Here we go. That is extremely annoying and something I did not think about at all. Okay, so... Something we have learned. Honestly, I'm going to fight this guy with a bit of help. Something I did not even remotely think about is the fact that if you don't get a shot, blowing up a beggar has a chance to spawn a random different beggar in its place. Steam sale is also really good here. I didn't think about the fact that there is a chance that your shop gets replaced. And in that case, as we just saw... It puts us in a rather difficult position because now we don't actually have um it's in a really rough position because now we don't actually have any way of getting rid of our curses this floor. We've gotta hold it out the next floor. That 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 is actually a real big problem. Real big problem that I did not even consider. You take a bunch of curses and you could just get screwed over by the game giving you greed. Not much you can do against that. And I'm, I'm assuming that's, like, being factored into the balance of the character. I'm sure that's, like, sort of one of the associated risks. You see that then? My Reaper buddy spawned my spawned me a card. And then my little Steely boy just literally stole it immediately. Like, within seconds of it spawning. Within less than a second of it spawning, should I say. Still lose that Angel deal chance. This is a rather rough room, to be honest. Because he's just spawning a lot of stuff. 
taking a lot of damage here. Oh my god, a lot of damage. Dude, stop spawning the double stack spiders. I can't handle. I've taken so much damage. Dude, he spawns so many spiders. Chill out. Chill the hell out, daddy -er. You can bloody stop and all. We'll take that. Trying to curse the maze. That's going to be bloody annoying. But at this point, I'm stacked with curses. I can't really say no. Hermit cards would be super valuable as this character, I'm now realizing. Hermit cards would be so damn good. There we got it. Oh, we got to remember this guy's going to steal stuff. Stuff that's over rocks is basically just gone. Unless we can get Mr. Me to take it first, but I'm guessing that's not going to be something that happens super often. Really? Really? I missed that? I, I actually am so disappointed with myself that I misstepped there. I thought I'd be okay. Clearly not. Having a hard time. This, this is... I've definitely put myself in the shit here. I mean, if we don't get a proper shop here, it'd be real bad for us. Need some HP as well, by the way, because I'm so annoyed I lost my Angel Chance. Angel Deal Chance, with no Soul Hearts and stuff, is just not going well for us. I got hit twice there, apparently. Enemies have faster projectiles. I'm just letting them stack up. Oh my god. Shop, please. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Whoa! Okay, we might be dead in this room. That enemy has ridiculously fast projectiles. I didn't when it said faster project faster and larger projectiles, I thought it meant like 10%, 20%. That's like literally twice the speed of non-projectiles. We are so burned. Dude, can you stop jumping for half a second? I can't even. Yeah. Okay, we got we got taken out. But yeah. This character, I know that wasn't the best showcase ever, but I think we got to see a really, like, sort of good look at the gimmicks this character has to do with it. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'll definitely be adding this character to my series, I think. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.